And we are going to pour ourselves into pastoral care so that as our members age, they will not be forgotten or left behind. We're going to do all of those missions. And I've learned from Moses and Jesus the secret. All you have to do is say to the people, this is what we're doing and we believe in it and we think it's really great and we think that it's a part of God's victorious plan for the whole world. And I'm going to say to you, will you step forward? Will you be a part of it? Will you give more? And then I'm going to wait. And I know that as it happened in the deserts of Sinai and by the Sea of Galilee, God's people will come forward and they will say, we will give more, we will do more, we will work harder, we will love better. Because it is in us to do so. And I am confident. In case that was all <laughs> very cryptic and theological, I'm saying to you, we need offerings to come up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ways to raise offerings is to challenge the people who are here. The other way is to bring new people into our congregation but you can't bring people into the congregation by saying to them, would you like to join our church and need your money? <laughs> it's a very poor draw. <laughs> you say to them, this is what we're doing. We are feeding the hungry. Giving water to the thirsty. Clothing to the naked. Shelter to the refugee. Medicine to the sick. We are changing the lives of poor people around the world. We are providing beautiful worship. We are giving Christian education. We are building pastoral care. We're taking care of this hundred year old building. And we think all of these things are a beautiful mission. Do you want to join us in mission? That's what we do. Over the last 10 years, <clears throat> In Canada, hundreds of old mainline churches have died. Many of them have died with millions of dollars in the bank. Because somebody said, that money is our future, we better not spend it. And so they stopped doing mission. And they died. Other churches, mainline churches, over the last 10 years and in the 10 and 20 years to come are going to thrive and grow and prosper and become stronger and more beautiful because they will say, here is the mission. We're going to do it no matter what it costs and we're going to trust that if we do it, the world will come in and do the mission with us and support us. Believe from the depth of my heart that all human beings earnestly want to help people in need. So we're going to do that. And I'm asking for your help. And I'm trusting that the Spirit of God is inside of you. And you're going to step it up. By the power of God, we will be the church that grows and thrives and prospers in the next 10, and 20, and 100 years. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.